This is how you can transform your add to cart to a pre-order button without using any fancy app and you can do this in just a couple of minutes. Why not continue selling products once they are out of stock? If you know you're gonna get your inventory soon, you could just go on pre-selling your products. After all, we know that once a customer leaves your site, chances are he may never return. I saw a couple of videos on this topic, but they all seem to be using an app for this. I think that apps should be used when it's absolutely necessary because apps will slow down your store, not to speak about the monthly fee you might have to pay for them. This technique requires editing some code, so if you're not comfortable doing that, we offer assistance. You can find the link in the description. For those of you who are good to go, let's get this done. Depending on your theme, your code might be a bit different. I'm going to work on an early version of the Dawn theme, but I'm going to try and explain other scenarios as well. The way I found it more comfortable for my customers is to mark the pre-order product with a pre-order tag. Once the tag is added on the product, we can have a couple of things done on the product page. Using Liquid Logic, we will change the text of that Add to Cart button to say Pre-order. We will then hide the dynamic buttons in case you don't want to use them and we will add a short note announcing the terms of our pre-sale. To start, we will go to Shopify dashboard and in there, we will navigate to the online store. Once there, you can duplicate your live theme so that your live traffic won't experience any changes while we work on this. Rename the new duplicated theme and add at the end a dash and pre-order so that we can easily recognize this theme. You will then go and click the three dots and select edit code. You might see something similar to this. On your left side, you will have a search field. Click on it and type product. On the Dawn theme, we will work on a main product section. Other themes might have the product form into a product form section or a snippet. To make sure you're looking at the right button, go to a new tab in your browser window, right click on your add to cart button and select inspect. On the inspect window, look inside the buttons classes and choose one that doesn't have a number in it, just words. Then copy it and go back to the theme editor. Inside the main product section, press Ctrl F or Command F on a Mac and search for the class you have copied from before. If you find your class, then you have your button. You can also look for a form tag like this and a button tag inside of it. Now don't get scared, inside the button tag we already have some liquid logic. That logic ensures that when the product gets out of stock, the text changes to out of stock and depending on your situation, you might have other cases as well. Because we are on a copy theme and no live traffic will see this until we are going to publish this version, we can add a character next to the add to cart text, which will look something like this. You can add here a star or any character or a word and then save. After saving, click preview theme and navigate to a product page and check to see if your button contains now the added character. Refresh a couple of times in case the text doesn't change. Sometimes it takes a couple of refreshes. If your character shows on the screen, then you are on the right track. Next, we will create the logic that will change the add to cart text into the pre-order text. Because we are now on a product page, we have direct access to the product object and that will give us the option to check if this particular product contains the pre-order tag. For that, we will write a for loop. For tag and product tags, if tag contains pre-order, then we will assign a pre-order variable to true. Now this variable will become true once we add the pre-order tag to any product. Now let's add the logic to change the text depending on if this variable is true or false. We are going to write an if statement here where the add to cart text is. I will add my if statement inside this parent if statement. And I will say if pre-order double equals true, then I will write here the word pre-order, then else I will add the normal add to cart text. Now because of the parent if statement, once the product goes out of stock, the button will say out of stock. To avoid that, 
I will go to the product page and click on continue selling when out of stock. This will ensure my product will never say out of stock and instead will always say pre-sale if the tag is added. Just a quick word, don't, don't skip, I'll be short. My name is Christian and I would love to make your life easier. I offer Shopify support to brands of all sizes. In case you don't want to ever edit any code by yourself and have someone do it for you, just visit shopyoso.com. Back to the video. Okay, the next step is optional, but if you run a store with multiple languages, you will need this done. In order to have translations, we will go and create a new translation for our pre-sale text. Copy the name of the translation for your add to cart button, then you will have to look for your translations file. After typing locals in your search, look for the theme's main language file. For me, it's the AN default. Inside the file, search for the name of the translation ID you just copied. Once you have found it, place your cursor after it and then press enter or return. We are now going to create a new translation. After you create it, press save and go back to your product form. Now instead of the word pre-sale, you can copy and paste the add to cart line and replace the add to cart with pre-sale and that's done. Now you have the logic and the translation, let's go and add a pre-sale tag to a product and check it out. After a couple of refreshes, now the pre-sale word shows for this product. If we check any of the other products, they still say add to cart. You may want to hide the dynamic buttons on this pre-sale products. To do that, on the same main product section, I will search for the payment underscore button and we can write the following logic around it. We can say unless pre-order double equals true and then close this unless tag underneath the form. This will ensure that the dynamic buttons don't show on the products marked as pre-order. To drive this to a final, you may want to write a small line of text or to have a link to a pre-order policy showing underneath a product that is marked as pre-order. Underneath the button tag, we can say if pre-order double equals true and then close the if statement. Inside the statement, we can add a span tag and inside the span tag, we can add a P tag for a text or an anchor tag for a link, whatever the case may require. You can have your text translated as well. Head back to your locals file and there you can create a new entry and have it mentioned inside the code. You will be able to edit this translation text from your Shopify dashboard by going to the theme, then edit the full theme content and there you will search for your translations and you will be able to adjust. When you're happy with your changes, you can go to your themes and have the pre-order theme published for your customers to see. Whenever you want to mark a product as a pre-order, you will just have to go to your product page and add the pre-order tag. And that's it. If this was of value to you, drop me a comment. If you want to see more Shopify videos, do like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.